I'm here with Sarah Lacey promoting her new book, Once Your Life Be Twice Your Good. Sarah, tell us a little bit about your book and why the readers out there should be buying it. Well, this book is like a primer for what's happening yes. in Web 2.0. Yes, you know, a you primer. Know those kids are on the YouTube and the MySpace and the Facebook. I haven't heard of like, that. You're like, what's all that Sally, about? come to dinner, and it's, I'm on MySpace. And yes. you know, Barack Obama is doing uh, debates on I've heard YouTube. Hussein, right? And Hussein Obama. Exactly, exactly. Yes. The Middle Eastern yes. guy running for president. He's a nice man. Yes. So this book will explain all of that. It will explain why he's a Muslim. It will explain yes. why he's a Muslim. It will yes. tell you what your kids are doing. But wait, there's more. An empty beer can comes with it. That I this, drank out of. That, she, that Sarah drank out of with a torn slip which represents sexual oppression for an introductory price of $9.95. Did I say $9.95? I meant $5.95. Oh, Did I say $5.95? I meant $6.95. Wait, $6.95 is higher. I can't say that, can I? <laughs> No, nine ninety five and a beer can. That's right, Jason. But wait. <laughs> There's more. Act now in the next three minutes. Even though this is a taped infomercial, and actually we'd have no idea what time it is. Where did the your next... accent go? I don't know. Where did my accent go? <laughs> Should we do it like my dad interviewing? <laughs> yeah. my, my seventy eight year old version of that. Oh my goodness, who is this beautiful girl? Do you have a mother for me? I have a beautiful son, 42 years old, not married. He's a television news reporter. Do you have any friends for him? No, sir. I'm just promoting a book. All right, let's close it out. <laughs> Final words. All right, so in uh, in 30 seconds or less. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna go back and forth until we're gonna play a game. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna um, we are gonna improv give you the best reason why you need to buy this book. We're going to go back and forth until one of us gets thumps. Go! I just bought a Victorian in the mission that I'm calling the house of Web 2.0 build, and it needs a new foundation, so it doesn't fall out in an earthquake. Oh my god. Sarah will give you that pink dress if you buy this book with it. <laughs> oh. I, I hope I can change. You're stumped so already. You're done. No, 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 no. Because, this is rapid fire. Because Penguin was a crazy publisher for doing a web book when web books failed left and right in 2000 and there will never be another web book published in the world again if this one is not number one on the bestseller list. If you read this book backwards, it's the Koran. If you read it forwards and then backwards, it says Paula's death. Michael Arrington will write a post about why you're a dick if you read this book. Michael Arrington is a dick, but he still read the book and loved it. I have a dick. I don't. Now we're just and that's why you should read the book. That's why, and that's why you should read the book because Sarah Lee does not have male no, genitalia. No. And I, I really don't think Michael Aaron's book. We need to put that as a disclaimer. Yeah, yeah. But listen, this is this is the point we're trying to get across. You should read this book because Sarah Lacey does not have male genitalia. That was the original title, wasn't it? <laughs> that, was that was the, the working title. title for the book. Yeah. Yeah. You're lucky it was a lot. Sarah Lacey doesn't have male genitalia. It was. There's been a lot of confusion over that because I look very masculine. Solid choice there. You did well. Well, I, I have to credit the publishers. Say goodnight, Lacey. Goodnight, Lacey. <laughs> That's it.